Welcome back to the channel, you big best thirsters. to Mike coming back at you again. I want to go over a few things really quick, including an unboxing of something I found off Amazon. Um, these little black speed stamps are here. Great for baits that have a bigger mouth or a bigger eye. They do not work good on like little jig heads that have a really small eye like this because it's too much meat on the in-between. Let me get this off so you can see it a little better. Well, I'm going to rot over a little bit. You can kind of see how it works. You put over this little piece right here, and it's got two little pieces. You move it back and forth. It pops really good on top of there, and it's really solid. Um, and just kind of throw back a little bit of something here as well. These Aurora reels um, by Hisar are, they're really finicky. They actually, this one here is a little better than the other one. Uh, the other one has like a weird, like shims on each side of the spool to make it where the line tries to jump on top of the shim. Sorry, I got people working on a mini split. The line tries to jump on top of the little little wall on the side of the spool. And it, it's, it's really weird. Um, this one here is really finicky about how much line you can put on here. If you think you can fill the spool up, you can't. Um, and it likes to try to jump the line over as well, a little bit, not as bad as the other one. Um, but once you dial this reel in, it casts really well. Um, it has a little more range than the Silver Feather. I don't think it'll cast as light as the Silver Feather. I haven't really tried it on super light stuff yet. I've thrown Kazashis. I've thrown um, Pico Picos with it because I have it on the um, I have it on the cliffhanger, and this rod is perfect for those. And it's also really good for strolling. I have the other little um, snap on here, and it was working great with this. And then when I tried to go to this snap and put just trying to snap out. This snap is awesome for any kind of moving bait or if you have something that has a bigger eye than this, it's awesome. But as small as this little eye is, so we can get closer, it does not work good with it. Um, so let's go over this right here. And this is a line spooler that I found on Amazon called a Gonex. Um, it looked really interesting. I think they were $30. Um, kind of, it's just a little card inside it. It kind of shows you how it sets up, and then you can kind of see the back of it, how it kind of sets up. The grip, spare chucks, retrieve handle. Um, okay, so let's see what we got in the box. First thing in the box is you have this little piece. And these kind of go in and out, and you push a little button right here, and it makes them go back out. And it's got the little chucks that go into your spools. I don't know what the hex key is. Maybe the hex key is in case things get locked up. Um, it's got a little piece of paper around it. And it's got another little piece of paper in the bottom of this thing, but I don't know what that's for. All right, so let's take this off. And I think this little button right here that was covering up that paper it turns your chuck to go here. Then you push it. Well, I thought you push it. Or you can turn it like this for spinning or casting. But technically, I would think you could just turn the damn thing over. Um, anyway, let's find some other little pieces it has in here. I'm not sure what this is. Retrieve handle. I don't know how that's supposed to work. I guess we'll find out in a second. Then here is your, your little handle that goes in here. It seems to make sense to me. You can just turn this over for spinning and casting, turn it back over like this for casting. Okay, kind of see how it works like that. 
What does this silly thing do? Retrieve handle. I don't really see any place for this thing to go. Does it say it on here? Oh, okay, I see what it means now. If you want to, you can put this through here and you can screw it down and then use this to spool your line back off, to retrieve the line back off. Now I see what it's for. It's kind of useless. Um, maybe, maybe not. Let's see, I should have a really here. I have got, uh, let's see, don't use this, we're gonna use that. Let's just put this on first as a guinea pig. So I guess you gotta turn this here. It goes up like an old fashioned spinning reel handle, spinning rod handle. And then you put your line on here. I'm just gonna take the chuck piece off right now so I can kind of show you. I'm not really wanting to put the line on here right now because I'm gonna put braid back on this reel. I don't really wanna put this on there right now. Um, just wanna kinda of show you, this is meant, I don't really use a spooling station when I'm doing a BFS reel. Cause I have, it'll, if it make it too tight, it can actually tear up your spool. Um, but I don't really see a way to make this tighter. Unless you screw it in and out. I don't, but it's not really doing anything. It just moves. So I don't really see a way of putting tension other than squeezing the spool. But I want to see real fast because I just want to find out. Let's take this out of here. And of course, it's closed on both ends. This is that uh, Seaguar Fluoro Meester what it says all right so i'm gonna set this here for a minute and so i guess this kind of goes in the middle and you close your little handles together and then it locks it in place. And then I guess it has a, a predetermined tension already built into it. I guess I'm used to seeing other reels have their own like tension knob. So you can set up however you want to set it. Or spooling stations, that is, not reels. And it looks like, yeah, this whole piece here screws off. I don't know why it does that. I guess it just makes it where you can kind of put this in between. And that goes in between, then that spools your line. I guess you can, if you, the tighter you squeeze it, the more the harder, more, the more tension it puts on here. Okay, so then you push the button a little bit. You gotta be careful to go too far. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Fortunately, that's where it seems where it wants to lock yet. All right, guys. So Sorry about that. UPS guy was here. Um, so, so I'm trying to look at this. So it's told me, yeah, the line is going to come off of here the same direction no matter which way you turn it as far as like the winding function. 
So does it go both ways? So, let's see. So no matter what, they come in together, so the tension stays pretty much the same. So you can't have one going like further in than the other one because they're kind of ratcheted together. Yeah, I don't know why it's not wanting to stay placed there. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, so it's gotta get to that click. And once you get to that click, so I guess that's a nice mild tension. I guess you can pinch it a little bit more to make even harder tension. Um, that's probably technically all you need. So this seems to be a pretty damn good spooling station. Um, I don't really like that one that spins around and does all this mess because it always has a wrap in the arms. Uh, one by PC Farms. Also, Berkeley made that same thing um, years ago. Then PC Fun came back out with it and called it theirs or their new thing. Um, yeah, it's an old design. This right here is something that's kind of unique and, and unusual. Um, now, I don't really see the need to have this where it turns back and forth because all you got to do is just turn it over like this when you put your reel on. But I mean, it gives you options, I guess. I mean, I guess you could have it where there's buttons in front where you can control the button in the front. Really, all you do is put your finger on the back and push the button. Well, I mean, it was $30 on Amazon, uh, one day shipping. Um, so I think it's pretty nice. Um, I'll link this down below so you can get you one. Um, those snaps, like I said, are, are really good, uh, especially if you're fishing anything that has like a, a jerk bait or anything of that nature where you can snap that eye on. It has really good motion to it. And it makes it where you can change your baits out really fast. Um, I, call, I didn't take my camera with me this morning before the heat and air people got here. I caught four little bitty ones this morning on this right here. Um, just out there being goofy. Um, that's why Kazashi is like what got me into this, like bait finesse kind of thing. They've been making it for a long time. It's pretty awesome. Um, I wonder, just go Mexus handle. Or I might save this for the dime. It's roughly the same length as the dial. The knobs feel. I don't know. I kind of like the knobs on this carbon fiber handle that I got a little better than the dial knobs. But the dial knobs are really good too. I like a nice flat rubbery knob. Um. I really like these knobs on this Gomexus right here. And the bearings are superior on this Gomexus handle. I mean, they're just flawless. Y'all must make you want to say, hmm, can I get some of those bearings for my spool? <laughs> but I know they're just, just nice uh, NIB bearings, uh, Japanese bearings they use for them. Um, but when you get go mixes, you're, you're, this is one of their cheaper handles. Um, this handle here by itself, you have, you have to usually, they sell it as a kit, but it's cheaper to buy the handle and the knob separate. But, um, it's a good bit more expensive than most of the other carbon fiber handles I upgrade to. Just saying. Um. Now, that all being said, too, the knobs on the Histar here, they're, they're pretty good. They're kind of a little thicker, kind of thinner. 
Um, maybe tomorrow I'll be able to go out and do some video. Well, no, I won't. My wife's home tomorrow morning. Um, and then she's home on Friday morning. So uh, I'm not going to be able to play, go out and make any video or do any. <laughs> probably be able to do any time fishing. But we'll see. Maybe she'll want to sleep in. That gives me some time to go do something. Um, all right, guys. Till next time. This has been DeMont. Like I said, I'll link this line spooler down below. Um, the other stuff you've seen on here came from other videos. Um, like the the split ring or the, 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 the quick split or the fast. I want to say fast snatch, but that's not the right term. That is not the right term. The, the fast clip <laughs> or the speed clip, whatever you want to call it. Um, those are on like the last video I did um, from Ali, when, either the last video or the next to the last video from AliExpress. The last video I did on the Mega Bass was this rod here and the other two rods. Um, this, this line, the Orchie X10, I'm really liking it. Destroyer Orchie X10 or Orchi or whatever it is. I'm not good with their names. Um, I think it's a beautiful rod. The rods are, are not the lightest rods I've ever felt, but they're pretty damn light. But they are an uh, exceptionally beautiful rod. Um, all right, guys. Till next video, which will probably be tomorrow, maybe later on today. Hell, I don't even know. Um, I've still got other videos I got to go back through and edit and get back right. Um, I know my brother-in-law was asking me. It's kind of funny. My best friend was asking me about a logo, um, and then my brother was ask my brother-in-law was asking me about he he made a intro video. It's kind of like Billy Bass. If you go back and look at the early videos of mine, <laughs> it's kind of like he did a Billy Bass video. Um, it's not really my speed. Not really my style. But if you guys like it, I'll start putting it back in again. I gotta get my old computer set back up so I can use it again. Um, but it, it's definitely Billy Bass. Um, <laughs> it's fun. Um, but I'm, I mean, I like country okay, but I'm more of a, a rock kind of country rap, um, political rap kind of guy. But mostly, mostly we listen to rock, um, silent theory and things of that nature. But anyway, um, so next time guys. Uh, I'll catch you on the next one. If you want to go back and take a look at that video, um, let me know. Or if you can't find it, I'll, 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 I'll link it down here. Um, it's it's kind of silly. I think I used it once or twice. Um, it's interesting. If you like Billy Bass, you'll like it. All right, guys. Till next time, y'all stay safe. Tight lines. Let me know what you think about this thing. Um Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down the video if you, you like it or you don't like it. Subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, let's try to grow this thing together. All right, guys. Till next time. Y'all, they already said stay safe, tight lines, all that other mess. Yeah, I got my mind's kind of a little crazy, but it is what it is. Till then.